Hello, welcome to Nuffield Health 24-7. Thanks for joining me today. My name's Paul, I'm one of the senior personal trainers and I've put together a total body workout for you today. For equipment, if you've got one, grab a yoga mat or an exercise mat. We're also gonna need some water and maybe a sweat towel as well. We're gonna do a nice warm up, then we're gonna go into some cardio training. We're gonna do some strength work and then we're gonna work into the midsection. And at the end of the workout, we're gonna slow it down with a nice warm down and stretch. Should we get started? So now comes the warm up then guys. So we're gonna take it nice and easy and we're gradually gonna progress this workout. So what I'm gonna get you to do first is just roll those shoulders nicely. In each of these drills, we're gonna do about 30 seconds, something like that. So roll in those shoulders. And if you notice, I'm opening my palms as I pull back and that just gets, gets that arm rotating nicely in that shallow shoulder joint. So once we've rolled it to the back, we're now gonna take it to shoulder rolls to the front. Picking those shoulders all the way up towards the ears, up and over, trying to draw as big a circles as you possibly can. Okay, good, shaking those shoulders out. Next one, we're gonna have our elbows out by the sides, chest up nice and proud, and we're gonna open up the palms and then take it down. Keeping those shoulders pinned back at the middle back. And we're gonna work into those rotator cuff muscles now. There's those very important four muscles around the shoulder joint. They provide stability for the shoulder joint, so we need to get those prepped and primed, ready for the rigors of the workout today. Okay, shaking those arms out. We're gonna take it into the neck now. We're gonna do four different exercises for the neck. First one, we're gonna look up, and then we're gonna look down. Keep working at this one on your own pace, but keeping that posture nice and strong on these ones. Look it up, and then looking down. Okay, looking dead ahead now. Keeping that chin drawn in, tall through the back of the neck. We're gonna take the head from side to side now. So we're working into these upper neck muscles and we're articulating those upper two vertebrae, at the top of the vertebral column, those neck vertebrae. Okay, next one, we're gonna rotate, looking over your right shoulder and then over to your left. And keep working all the way through, nice and tall through the spine all the time. And then the last one in the sequence, we're gonna push the face out in front and then we're gonna draw the chin in towards the throat. So pushing away and then drawing the chin in. And this really gets some lovely space just up into the base of the skull there. Up and away, pushing away. Two more to the front and one more. Okay, just give that a little bit of a shake out. Next one, we're gonna work across the chest. So let's swing those arms now. Nice and easy on this one. And again, as I said earlier on, we're gonna just warm up progressively. So it's gonna be relatively straightforward now. And then we're gonna gradually build the intensity of this warm up. And I like to do a really thorough warm up because <laughs> we've got lots to do today. So we need to make sure all those joints, all those muscles are prepped and primed. We brought that blood pressure up nice and safely. We've increased the breathing rate and also the heart rate as well. So we're reaching one arm up high, one arm down low now, reaching our way through, getting those shoulder blades working. And then the next one, standing with feet together, and we're gonna swing those arms down the center line. So we can have a little bounce into the ankles, knees and hips here if you want to, just to get that nice swing going. Now we're starting to rotate through the spine and integrate the hips into the movement as well. So we're getting bigger with our movements now. So we're probably feeling that body temperature starting to increase. That heart rate and breathing rate is starting to increase as well. And the next one, wider stance, and we're gonna rotate through the center line now, whipping the hips round as we go, making sure those feet are nice and mobile on the floor, keeping that chest nice and proud still. So now we're bringing in the full body into the movement now. Next one we're gonna move on is two hip rotations. So another five seconds in three, two, and one. Okay, imagine you've got a big box in front of you and you've got to step over that box and then onto the other legs. We're alternating those legs as we go up and over. So the idea here is to move that big thigh bone, rotate it in that big powerful pelvis. Let's take it up and over on either side. So now we're gonna take it the other way. So we're gonna go up and over from the side and onto the other side as well. Keep it working on this one. Nearly there, a couple more on each side. One and one, two and two. And now we're gonna take it into the ankle joint. So feet together, 
and come up onto your toes and then drop the heels, toes up, heels up, toes up and heels up, toes up and heels up. Almost there, we're really working those springs now, those muscles in the back of the calf that attach into the bottom of the foot. Very, very important muscles for the more up-tempo exercises we're going to do today. Okay, great, give that a shake out. So that's phase one of the warm-up. Now we're going to take it into phase two. This is where it starts getting a little bit more difficult, okay? So first one, we're going to touch it down towards the floor, reach and extend through the hips. So taking it down and up. Just working towards the floor. You may or may not be able to reach the floor. It doesn't matter as long as we're working into the hip joint nice and tall up towards the ceiling. And it's quite nice in terms of breathing to exhale as you go into the stretch up and away. Okay, next one. Keep the hips still, arms up overhead, and we're gonna take it into side to side. So we're getting that nice flex in our spine now, picking up some of those muscles down our flank, but also it starts to fire up those core muscles by keeping those hips still. So they're ready for action when we take it into the more intense part of the workout. Okay, next one. We're gonna take a nice wide stance now into the uh, hips. So as wide as you can make it, and then we're gonna reach across to the opposite foot, and then over to the other side. So keeping that bum out of the back, reaching across, sending that knee out over the little toe as well. And we take it into the inside thigh, we get it into the outer hip, and also we start to liven up that lower back as well. Okay, very nice, coming up and out of that one. We're gonna take it into a squat pattern next. So basically, squatting down and standing back up again. Squat down and stand up. I'm putting my hands out in front just as a counterbalance. That stops you falling backwards. If you wanna make it more difficult, you can bring those hands in a little bit closer. Totally up to you. Okay, nice squeeze of the buttocks when you get to the top. Nice and strong into the abdomen when you get to the top as well. Okay, next one, we're gonna hinge at the hips. Hands behind the head, elbows just in the peripheral vision. Then we're gonna stick the bum back, bow forwards, and then come back up to the top again. So we should feel some tension build in the back of the upper thighs as we lean down. And by keeping those elbows just in the peripheral vision, we should be starting to work our postural muscles in our rear shoulder and our back as well. Keep working it. Okay, now we're gonna take it to a lunge. One leg in front of the other, tuck the bum under, and then from there, we're gonna drop the back knee down towards the floor. Back up to the top, and dropping it back down again. Keep going on this one. So dropping the back knee down towards the floor, coming back up. If you wanna increase the stretch into the hip, reach the arms up nice and high as you drop that back knee down towards the floor. So you can probably feel that breathing rate's increased a little bit. We're coming towards the end of our warm-up now. Another two exercises to go. Let's swap legs, let's take it onto the other one. Nice long stance, tuck the bum under, abs nice and strong, drop down, reach high. So we can feel that the warm-up's doing its job. We started easy, we gradually built it up. So we're getting ready for our next part of the workout in a moment or two. Two more of these lunges then. Feel that lovely stretch through the front of that hip as we reach those arms up high. Okay, good, next one. It's a rotational movement down low to one side, up and high. Drop down, reach up high. So we're going from low to high, but I'm shifting my weight from one leg to the other. And I'm whipping those hips around as I go, which is gonna get some lovely length through all of that flank down into the hips. So we're beginning to integrate the full body into the movement now. Let's take it onto the other side. Down low, up high and rotate down low, up high and rotate. This is the last one in the warm-up. So let's finish up strong, and then we can move on to our next element. Reaching up high, three more, shall we? Up and away, reaching as high as you can, getting those fingers and toes as far away from each other as possible. Up to the top, and relax down there. Give those arms and legs a bit of a shake out. Grab yourself a mouthful of water if you want. We're gonna move on to the next element, which is gonna focus on cardio training. Okay, so, 
What we're gonna do on this one, we're gonna be taking 30 seconds on each exercise. We're gonna go with marching to start with, okay? So I'm gonna show you an easier version to start with. And if you feel that you wanna increase it, I'm gonna show you another version, which is a little bit more up tempo. And you can choose whichever one, ever one you think is suitable. So let's get started. Starting in 10 seconds. So first one's gonna be marching, so low marching. Okay, so give me five, four, three, two, one, and away we go. So we're just marching on the spot. Now, if you want to do the high, more higher intensity bit, you can just bounce from one foot to the other, imagining you're skipping. That just gives you a little bit more tempo to the movement and a little bit more requirement from the heart to pump a little bit harder. So you can choose whichever version you think is suitable for you. If you do the harder version and uh, you realize you've gone off a little bit too hard, then feel free to regress it back to the easier version that I've showed you as well. Okay, coming to the end of exercise one. Exercise two, we're gonna bring some punches into the movement as well. You can probably feel already that breathing rate's up there from our warm up, and now we're gonna keep it bubbling away nicely. About 70 to 80% of what we, can, uh, what we can manage. So punching those leg arms out in front. Okay, another seven, six, five. Get ready to go higher knees on the marching now in three, two, and one. Okay, march much higher now, almost like we're walking through snow drifts now. Let's get that hit, that knee up nice and high, driving through nice and high. There we go. Okay, we've got 15 seconds. We're halfway through this exercise. And the next exercise is gonna work more deeply into the hips. Okay, here we go. Next one, we're gonna to touch opposite hand to opposite foot. Now, if you want to, this is the more difficult version. Bouncing onto the ball of the foot, and we can get that nice reach down through into the foot, or you regress it back and take it into the steps. Okay, very nice. You've got 10 seconds to go on this one, and then we're gonna take it into some air squats. Now, we've already done some in the warm-up, a few minutes ago, so we're going to take it back for exercise six in our 10 station cardio program. Here we go, three, two, and one, and air squats. Taking it down, pushing the knees out as you go, going down as low as you're happy to go. Some of you are a bit more uncomfortable going down too low, so you go as low as you want to on this one. Now, just like we did in that warm up, if you want to make it harder, you can take your elbows back and hands behind your head. That just starts to liven up a few more muscles in the back of the body. Okay, almost there. Keep it going. In four, three, two, and one. Next exercise, one foot in the middle. Meet it and step across. Step across and step across. So now we're starting to work into the outer hip. We're working into the inner thigh. We're also starting to get that torso working. Okay, harder version coming up, and it's a little bounce, shifting over from one side to the other. And if you want to make it even harder, you can reach further across, reach for that top corner. So you can choose whichever version you want. This is exercise seven, three to go. Almost there, keep it going. Next one's going to be star jumps in five. Four, three, two, and one. Same side step, and we can take it overhead with the arms. Now, this is our lower intensity version, and if you want, you can take it into your higher intensity version, your choice. So now we're working all four limbs, legs and arms. So that heart rate requirement is a lot higher now. Keep it going. 10 seconds remains on this one. Two exercises still to go. Okay, next one, we're gonna take it into a side hop. In three, two, and one. So we can either step to the side, back over to the other side, or we can hop it from one side to the other. Obviously, to make it harder, we can take it further. We can take it deeper into the knee as well if you want to. So you choose whichever version you think is right for you. Keep it going. This is exercise nine. One more to go. We're almost there. Gonna do strength after this. Okay, good work. In seven, six, 
almost there. Last couple of reps, and we're gonna take it into reverse step backs. So we're gonna take it step back to the top, step back. So working on a lunge pattern. So we're gonna step back to the top, step back. This is the last one in the sequence. So it's gonna be hard just because it's the last one, but also because it's lunges. Keep that coming. We're almost there. Give us another 10 seconds on this one, and then we're gonna break out. Have about a minute, have a little towel down, and a bit of water, and then we'll get on to the next bit. Three, two, and one. Excellent, well done, that's your cardio piece finished. Let's have some water, a bit of a towel down if you want to, and then we're gonna take it into some strength exercises. Strength exercises, there are four of them. We're gonna do 20 seconds of work, 20, two, zero. And then we're gonna have 10 seconds to recover. I'm gonna show you these exercises one after another, show you your variations as well, whilst you're having your water. So first one, we've done it twice already today. Air squats, taking it down and to the top. Harder version, prisoner squat, hands behind the head. And third version, if you want, take it into a jump squat. Completely up to you. That's your first exercise, three variations. Next one, we're gonna take it into push-ups. So we can take it down onto the floor. Lower your head down towards the floor, push back up to the top. Or we walk the hands out a bit further. And we lower the hips, then chest, then nose to the floor. And third version, straight push-ups all the way down and back up. And again, you choose whichever version is right for you. Next one is a crab walk. Standing, take it into a squat position, step out to the side, come back in, step out onto the other side. So this one, after we've done those squats, we're gonna start feeling those thighs. So that's our uh, third exercise. And the fourth one, we've just done reverse lunges as the last exercise in our cardio. Now we're gonna do front lunge, front lunge. Okay, so there are four exercises. Here we go, we're on the timer, get ready to start. Air squats in three, two, one. Okay, let's go, 20 seconds of air squats. Again, I'll just rem remind you, we can take it into a prisoner squat if you wanna make it harder, or we can take it into a jump squat. Completely up to you. Almost there, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, 10 seconds recovery. Let's get ready for those push-ups. Down we go. Okay, here we go, three, two, one, and away we go. Again, we can lower the head down, or the hips, chest and head, or we can take it into the full push-up, whichever one you'd prefer. Keep working it, 10 seconds remains and then we'll be back up on our feet again. Remember we have that 10 second recovery at the end in four, three, two, one. Okay, up we get. Well done guys. Ooh, okay, we're gonna take it into those side step or crab walks, okay? So scooch down into the knees, ready? Two, one, step to the side. Step to the other side. Work it. The deeper you go into this squat, the more you're gonna feel these quads light up. So let's work an intensity that's challenging enough for you to get a good workout. But we've still got loads to do today, so don't absolutely break yourself. Three, two, and one. Step lunges, ready? Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Away we go. Step in, step out, and alternate those legs. Again, try and keep your torso upright on this one, because then we can build some tension into the hips which is gonna give you some nice stability to work, to work with. Try to lean forward when we do these ones. In four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, that's round one. One more round to go. Two more minutes of work, stand by. Air squats, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat and stand, squat and stand. Again, we've got the variations if you want them. Completely up to you which one you start with. Now that you've done all the exercises once already, you'll probably make a better choice on which one is right for you now. Good, three, two, and one. Excellent. Push-ups, here we go. Down onto the deck, knees and hands or full, or we can go hips and chest, it's up to you. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Tapping it out. 20 seconds of push-ups. Here we're working the chest, the front of the shoulders the back of the upper arms. And if you can, squeeze your butt and draw your tummy in as well. Then we've got lots going on. In four, 
three, two, and one. Well done, up on your feet. Let's get ready for those crab walks or those side steppers. Scooch down into that semi-squat position. Three, two, one. Okay, step across, step across. Keep those knees nicely flexed. Ah, oh, that's good. Starting to feel those squats from earlier in those legs now. 10 seconds remains, and then we'll take it to the step lunges. And that'll be the last of the strength exercises today. We're gonna take it into core next. Here we go, two, one, well done. Lunges, front lunges this time. There we go, four, three, two, one. Take it away, step in, step out. Alternating those legs, keeping that torso nice and upright. Last exercise in our strength component today. Keep it going, almost there. Final five, four, three, two, one. You've earned yourself a drink, guys. Well done, grab yourself some water. Give those limbs a little bit of a shake out. We're now gonna take it into the midsection. So this next section, we're gonna work on the floor, which is really nice after doing some quite high intensity cardio and strength work, because simply by lying on the floor, our heart rate's gonna naturally drop down. So we're gonna start getting some natural recovery. But then we're gonna work on to some of the key muscles around our torso. We're gonna work into our butt, our abdominals. We're also gonna work the muscles that help to rotate in the torso. We're also gonna work outer hips, the stability muscles in the hips, and also the muscles along our flank. So let's get started. Right, lying on the floor. First one, hip lifts. You may or may not have done these ones before. Feet, uh, soles of the feet flat on the floor, knees bent. And then from here, we're simply gonna lift the hips up and drop the bum back down towards the floor. Lift up and drop. Okay, should we go for it? Three, two, one, let's go. 45 seconds. So squeeze and drop, squeeze and drop. There's quite often a tendency to wanna to arch your back and stick your tummy out when you get to the top. So let's keep that tummy nice and drawn in and the butt nice and tight. Keep working on this one. Again, 45 seconds. We've just gone past the halfway mark. So you'll feel that those muscles in the back are working here as well. They're uh, stability muscles that connect our torso to our pelvis. That's why I've included them in this core part of the workout. You're almost there in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, relax there. Whew. Okay, next one. We're gonna take it into the midsection. So we're gonna work into those muscles on the front of the abdomen. So this one here, we're literally gonna take the legs up in the air, or you can have the knees bent, it's up to you. You can have them on the floor, it doesn't matter. But the idea is we lift the shoulders up and we hold that position. So it's a static hold, this one. And we're gonna start in four, three, two, one. Okay, up and hold. So again, we can take our legs out if you wanna make it harder. You can take them even further away that will make it super hard. So you can choose at what angle you're at. As long as both shoulder blades are off the floor. These six back muscles here, they attach to the lower part or middle part of our ribs down into the bottom of our pelvis. So by shortening that distance, we're strongly activating those muscles. Doing well so far. Try and keep that gap between chin and chest. If you want to, you can have your hands just lightly cradling the back of the head as well, because that head's quite heavy in this plane of movement. Almost there. 10, nine, eight, seven. Almost there, go on, push this last little bit. Three, two, one, <laughs> relax, well done. Okay, next one we're taking it into a side plank. So we're gonna have to have our knee bent at 90 degrees, the lower leg, elbow down, chest proud, and we're gonna come up and we're gonna hold this position here. We want the shoulder stacked up on top of the shoulder, hip on top of the hip, and we're gonna hold that nice strong position, okay? So, stand by, here we go. Again, it's 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds to recover. In two, one, up and hold. So we should be drawing that tummy button in. Now, in terms of where we're gonna feel this, I bet you're gonna feel it here, outside of the hip, either on the bottom or on the top side of the hip. Both sides are working quite hard here. We're also working all the torso muscles here. We're getting some compressive work going onto the torso as well here. And also these shoulders are actually having to work quite hard as well. So hold that position.
Give us 10 more seconds. It's starting to kick in hard now. Let's work it. That's it. In five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Well done. Okay, so next one, we're going to go onto your tummy and we're going to work on back extensions. Okay, so we're basically, you can have your hands out in front and you can just use those very gently just to take a little bit of load out of the torso. We can have our hands behind our head or down by our sides. The idea is squeeze your buttocks to anchor your pelvis to the floor and then we just lift the shoulders up or lift the chest up and squeeze the shoulder blades back. Okay, here we go. 45 seconds in three, two, one, and away we go. So if we can, squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other at the back. And get those shoulders away from your ears. It's quite common on this one, see people looking forwards when you do it. That activates too many of those upper neck muscles. So let's keep the chin drawn in. Pull those shoulder blades back. So still anchoring those hips by squeezing those buttocks all the way from the lower back all the way up to the base of your skull we're working here through those back if you spend any amount of time sitting down at a desk these are great exercises keep working it almost there In three two one and relax there good side plank on the other side i didn't forget about those get ready so 90 degree bend on the bottom knee okay stand by three two one, up and away. This is our penultimate exercise today, guys. So we're starting to feel it. Again, we've done loads. You do that really thorough warm up. We've got that nice bit of cardio in. That was a 10 station cardio workout, five minutes non stop. Then we worked on that short four station strength program. And then we've really got into our core muscles and those muscles are around the core as well that attach in the ones in the hips and the shoulders as well. We've got 15 seconds on this one still to go. Butt tight, tummy tight, chest proud. We've got one exercise to go after this one. We're going to be lying on our back. Stand by. Five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant. Okay, here we go, guys. Lying on your back. Stand by on this one. I'll demonstrate first. It's going to be lifting up one leg out in front. Other knee pulled in, and we're gonna push the opposite hand into that knee. We're gonna hold it for a five count. And then we switch, and we work it on the other side. Okay, here we go. Stand by. Last exercise, and then we're gonna take it to a nice stretch down. In four, three, two, one. Okay, up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Four, three, two, one, and switch again. If you can, keep both shoulders off the floor. That'll increase the intensity. Two, one, switch again. Three, two, one, and again. Three, two, one, and one more time. Over it goes. Four, three, two, one, oh, and relax there. Well done, everyone. Good stuff. That's the major part of workout done now. Now we're gonna take it into a relax down and we're gonna do some stretching, okay? So first move, lying down on your back, arms out by your sides. And let's just relax down that breathing. As I said earlier, when we lie down, gravity's acting differently on our body than when we're standing. So the demand on our heart isn't as high. So uh, when we lie down, have a greater chance to drop that heart rate down, decrease that breathing rate. <sighs> nice deep breaths on this one. Just relaxing and sinking into the floor. So we've got knees bent, feet flat on the floor. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to take our legs from side to side. And let both knees go to one side and then over to the other. And again, just nice and relaxed here. Over to one side and then the other. Okay, from there, we're gonna roll onto our tummy. <coughs> and we'll go into lifting the torso up off the floor. And keep your hips using those glutes again. Squeeze your buttocks. And you'll either come up on your elbows 
or up on your hands. Depends how flexible your spine is. Up and away. Lower down. Shoulders down. Lift up. And coming down from there. Okay, from there, let's come up into all fours. And we're going to round the back, tuck the chin in. And then drop it back down again. You probably feel that the heart rate's dropped off now. Breathing rate is starting to slower. Okay, let's go knees together. Keep the hands where they are. Push your hips out to one side. And then the other. Just getting some space into that lower back. And also into the outer hip. Okay, knees back to hip width apart. Let's reach both those hands up to the top right hand corner and lower that left armpit down towards the floor. So we should feel a nice stretch through that flank. Nice deep breaths. Okay, up and over on the other side. Okay, we're gonna feel the stretch down that right flank now. Okay, coming up and out of that one into a split kneeling position. One leg in front of the other. Clenching that back butt cheek. And then we'll reach up and away. Hands back down again. Then reach to the sky. Coming down out of that one. Swap it over to the other side. Let's open that hip up. Extend and reach. All the way back down again. Up and reach for the sky. Okay, and then standing up from there. We're gonna shake out the legs, shake out the arms as well. Guys, you finished your full body workout today. Fantastic job, you did a great job. Hopefully you worked as hard as I did on that one. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hopefully we'll see you next time.